1973, there's a look at Bill Stadium, just outside of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gunn alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers. Taken in at the three. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing, they really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. On first and ten, Hostetler, and this one too low. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Second and ten. Throwing again, Hostetler. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got him. And he'll be upended after a gain of five, up to the 25-yard line. Well, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. From the gun on third down, Hostetler. And that will be incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. The Bills send the punter out. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. A well hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return, and the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. On first and 10, Kelly, a dump off to Sims. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Kelly to throw. 
It's caught by Sanders. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Now a first down throw, Kelly. And once again, this is Sanders. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, it's Sims, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out of a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you've got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. Swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Sanders and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40. Well from their point of view this game could not be starting out much better could it? Force a punt on defense and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply I like that like yeah that? yeah moving it very very well looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here long way to go but you're right that's a heck of a start. Yeah and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying I have that dagger play. I have that play and just finish him off right now because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're just going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here in this first series. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Finally, an incompletion. He was 5-5 five of five before that last throw to start this game. So he is human. All right, so we found out after the way he began, okay, he can have an incompletion here or there. But I love what they've done right from the word go. They just need to pay it off with a touchdown now. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Kelly. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Those are the drives that prove a lot. you got a rookie quarterback, Charles. You're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. we got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. come to the line to start their next drive and on the last go around they really couldn't get anything going they had to punt from deep inside their own territory which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule what they're looking for now is a little more consistency move the ball at least a few times on offense get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field yeah, just something to build off of that's what they're looking for here six yards left on second down They run with Thomas. Gets by him at the 25. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now Thomas, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there, but what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Switch it up here and look to throw. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Four yards remain for second down. They run the counter. It's Thomas. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. You want no problem for me. It's a game of two. Third and three. 
for the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Off the bootleg, Hostetler. And this one complete to Reed. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. On the ground, it's Thomas. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Looking to throw on second down. Hostetler. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. He wants it all for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A big play there. 53 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. They kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And the drive begins here with Sims. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Okay. 
three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Kelly. And his throw is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw is Kelly. He's going to look deep for more. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll run on first down. It's Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Looking to throw. Hostetler finding Knox there, complete. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it would be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Off play action. Hostetler. Now he's flushed out right. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Oh, they hate that. Wipes out the big play. I know this is the NFL, so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty. But when I was in college, you used to have to do up-downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. And Detroit getting set to go now. 
They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Kelly. He's got it complete to Thompson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Kelly. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. They'll contain him to just four on second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Kelly. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. This is caught. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab, and the Lions have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Great job to put themselves in front, and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive there of just four plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. A big play there just before halftime. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing, change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks that he sees and make it. 
And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. We got well, here's the call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Throwing on first down. Hostetler. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Fake. Hostetler being chased out left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. It's their quarterback taking it in. And the Bills are an extra quarter away from tying the ball game in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before they started this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end to the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Now the try here for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. this one away take it in at the three and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 and the Lions gonna go back on offense one final time in this first half and we'll see how they want to play this just a little over 20 seconds to go Seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and ten. Kelly to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Third down. 
So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And in a tie ball game, they've got to be asking themselves, what can we do to get this passing game on track for the second half to come? Meanwhile, for the Bills, we get a look at their numbers on the ground in that first half as they'll be looking to rev things up here in a tie ball game. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. out to the 16-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing and making a very nice play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Another run here with Sanders. Fast footwork by Sanders. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. and 10 at Sanders and he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well that time the right guard sending him backwards and so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now depending on situations you can get the bulky guy the fast guy no matter what though you can't hold them so following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Running right, here's Sanders. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Enough to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And this one also slowly developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage. And not much more than that. I think as a play caller, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Left side here to Sanders. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Rock the ball, his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Good move at the 30. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. ready to go for their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. They'll keep it on the ground. Thomas, and he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Escaping the pressure right, and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. They go play action here on first down. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Three yards the game there, second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. On second down now, it's Simpson. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Back to throw. Hostetler, and he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to have a Bills first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Let's go, baby. And Let's 
they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. That was a nice grab. Just couldn't get the feet down, right? He did that toe tap sequence there. Whatever size shoe he's wearing, probably need about a half size smaller to complete that one. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Reed. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left, and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. On first down. Thomas, and only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. To throw on second down, Hostetler, he gets it to Thomas. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. This is Thomas, and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Thomas. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and eight. On third down, Simpson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game. It didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many 
times you kick it into a net, you're not really ready when you go out there. All that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Sort of way and off it goes. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So now the Lions down by a field goal, 2.16 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Down, it's Kelly. And it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Here's second and ten. Kelly. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Here's Kelly to throw. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, and there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do, keep churning out first downs. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He's back to throw. And yeah, that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions are going to jump back in front. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Extra point attempt here still to come. It's up and good to make it 21-17. 
So that drives seven plays in length, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Now it's the Bills' turn, trailing by four. A minute 15 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Talk about making winning plays. That is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. First down, it's Sanders, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Okay, baby, now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Sims and he'll have the first down getting this one to the 14 yard line the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. This one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. 
Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal. 